Gentlemen, with the rules of it's even a record 30. His professional career got his offs in 1996 out of the much more talented oh, Judah. Judah and Fernando Vargas. And there was somewhat of an upset. To 2006, he lost virtually owned to Jose Armando South with a big shot in the 10th round. With his right hand, just is way the same delivery that he shoots with. Uh, there it is. Tanyo's record. You may have caught handsome guy. Montano has sparred a lot with some big name fighters in the sport. Rocky Juarez. And in round one. That time Diaz backs him off with a right hook. Fourth. Given that Diaz is promoted, the promoter's plan is for Pacquiao to be an extremely heavy favorite to beat him. But then he's won fights in which he was a heavy. Good body shot by Montano. And still, he has difficulty resisting. Time time fighter. Elaborate. The, the black trunks is reflective of the era when they fought with only black and white trunks. <laughs> <laughs> and even the black shoes, he looks too. <laughs> so Jake Clamato would approve. Yes. Little right hook inside for Diaz. Fight in an aggressive, much better fighter than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. And comes back with own. Montoya doesn't fight with the attitude of a lot of guys who are sparring partners, being that he's sparring with most of the top fighters, but he doesn't fight that way. He's fighting as if he come here to win the fight, not just to survive and get a paycheck at the end of the week. Hey, ideal for a sparring partner. Willing, aggressive, eager to throw, no power. That helps. But he... Hoping to upset he is looking ahead to Even though they're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, most of the real clean active punches are Jimmy's background primarily was uh, as a cut man. He's a he was a pharmacist. Much like Earl Letterman, so he knows all about uh, good cut coagulants for cuts. And um, if I'm correct, I think in this case he is the manager, I think. You start out as a cut man and eventually gravitate toward trainer and manager. You've You'd be, who's about the most experienced Chicago? It's a very good Chicago. But, uh, as a matter of fact, that's probably one of the reasons Texas, Mexico, or California, like most of the Mexican fighters are. Now there you see a perfect example of Diaz's defense behind the peekaboo goal. And now waiting his turn, steps in and lands another. He threw 178 punches in the second round last year. San Diaz beat Julio Diaz. And then last week, Nate Campbell scored a huge upset over Juan Diaz. Diaz land what I call is a right cross. That's his most dangerous punch that he's shown tonight. Plus the imprint on the fight now as we come down the stretch in round three. David Diaz in good short left up the middle by Diaz. One side of the fight differently from another side. Two out of 166. Close fight, Jim. David Diaz driven in round them, got inside. Raymond Montagna is really just landing that, that left uppercut and that right uppercut, as you saw just there. His skill set could have beaten the extremely slick and quick Zab yeah, It's very hard to see, but you know, the Zab is, the only thing with Zab, Zab is some fights he'll be winning, and he'll just slack and just stop punching. But, you know, you can see could cause him to lose to a fight like today, as he's very consistent all over. Judah will be looking to have one of his good games, Mosley, in a couple of months, and a fight that will help either or both of those fighters are still factors in that competitive scene. When Zab Judah wants to really fight and settle down in the series, he can do things I think he can fight and enough with a lot of talent. As he did in the first six or seven rounds against Miguel Cotto in that also too. Yeah, well, unfortunately he doesn't follow through in the late rounds. And that's that takes talent as well. And that's something David Diaz, part of the reason for the 33 win, one loss, one draw record, good right hook. Flush on the chin of Monk. That guy with a lightweight title is here fighting in the first fight of our car. Really walking forward in a conventional stance before resetting his that the absence of focus has resulted in any losses he's on a winning streak well he's had his entire trilogy with Morales since and the fight with Marco Antonio Barrera of Manny versus well they used to call uh, Roger Mayweather dozens of fights in a row against Mexican opponents
nephew, Floyd Mayweather, imitated when he wore the summer. And uh, I guess everything everything fell apart when he fought Chavez. Chavez made up all of the losses that the quit on his stool at the end of round 11 in the cauldron of the loss at that day. And the Diaz seen through the fourth round were very even though Diaz 86 out of 255 and but there are two clean shots by Diaz and a perfect uppercut. And these are solid landed which underlines his own imprint on the fight. Now Montano lands an uppercut, not nearly with the same effect. Get off and try to box and try to win a decision, which he probably has a better of a chance of doing that because I don't know how good. Emmanuel, they weren't going to put Diaz in. Here you can see Diaz landing what I think has been his best punch of the night is that right hand that he shoots coming over. It comes almost like a right cross. And he shoots basic, simple punches, and that's what's been effective for him tonight. Next up, Dios Dado Gabi. Counseling Diaz between rounds on how to. And now Diaz is getting in there, which is the right way to do it. Left. On the ropes there, the way they're banging each other. If there's a place for a coward anywhere inside a prize fight ring, I don't know. Well, it's all relative, of course. But the way these two uh, young guys are going, it's a higher. You can see how effective Diaz is when he's in close with little short punches that you really have to see on a replay to really hear the uppercut coming again. And I think right after that, if I remember, he got hit with a punch himself. But for the most part, he's a stronger fighter. Boy, your, your memory's frighteningly good, Emmanuel. <laughs> Combi box numbers in six. Diaz, 19 out of 92. He's still throwing in bunches. Harold, I have it. Look at Jim. 59, 55, five rounds to one, David Diaz. Jim, you know, fortunately, Ramon Montagna. Letterman's comments are right on point. You can see that Diaz is perfectly willing to take. Is Diaz bleeding on the ear? There's blood somewhere, and I can't tell whether it's outside the eye or in the hairline somewhere. Even though Diaz is winning this fight, it's physically a very rough fight. You know, a take is going to punch as Montoya takes. So he, even though he's winning, it's taking a lot out of him. And she's holding a number, which is eight. This is... Uh, Right hook by David D. We'll find it elsewhere. There's a lot of puffiness and swelling. This is one of those fights where you beat some guy named Montagna and another fight. Just. that last thud at him. And even though Diaz has been with 196 landed power punches now, to only 144 from Montano. Harold, how do you have it? Look at too strong on the inside. You know, I'd be amiss if I didn't say this. Landed a clean, a hard shot. Uh, but would it, whichever way the judges have it, it looks like it would take a stoppage. 
for Montagna. Emmanuel did yeah, pretty much every sometimes very consistent and uh, he's a, he's what a, a judges type fighter because you know if you you have to but his durability is a big factor too. Always been a tough guy and not the worst defense in the world. Hard left hand by Diaz. Biggest shot of or two as he did in the last. Reaching toward that moment when he. the right hand but with full force he still is not ahead of in trouble yet which is amazing he a straight left coming in i guess more of a hook type left lady. and they touch gloves for the last round of the bout david diaz who had Very seldom do you see a clinch. I, I don't recall Joe Cortez doing much of this. They fight there. It's a good in close. Bruised and swollen. Regularity continually on the left right side. There. Of, yeah, that's the most powerful punch he has. There again, the action. They'll also have to fix the tape on Montano's glove, which is streaming like that was brilliant. That's one of the best moves. Of exactly yeah. that. Yes. And, and they did that exchange. I mean, they didn't. Well, that's one of the reasons why some think Joe Cortez is the best. Oh. Yeah, Joe, was, Joe was a very good boxer. He was a New York Golden Gloves champion. All right, now there goes the... And landed on the canvas behind him. Boom. Flying mouth. David Diaz. David clearly 